at all times. His praise shall continually be on my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, we got praise reports this morning? Mama, oh. Anne. Uh, Clinton came by and wanted to know if I'd mow my, if you could mow my lawn. <laughs> Praise God, he did it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it so you said yes. I said yes. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes, yes, he did. Yes, Josh, what is Go ahead, Josh. Tomorrow, we're going to school and we're going to pick up Kathy and Chad, our best friends from school, and we're going to get home. Spend all day with them, spend the night, and then we're basically going to spend two days. Mm. Big plan. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yvonne? I saw your hand. Yeah, so um, I'm so happy Leah came with me this morning because I've been missing her. And um, so we were in the kitchen before church started, and I come out around the corner, and everybody in the room was talking and smiling and just happy and it there's just nothing like it um you know when you see your your congregation your church family just fellowshipping and happy and glad to be here and it was just awesome i just I love you all so much and i'm so glad that you're here yes I'm always thankful to God. He's always so good to me. Yesterday we did get our taxes done. Thank Jesus for not having any stumbles for all any of us. <laughs> but he's just such an awesome God. You know, I just always marvel. No matter what happens, he always has his hand right there. Amen. I can always just get a hold of it. And he always lifts me up. Marvelous. Awesome. <laughs> uh -oh. I just praise God that we had a safe trip up and down and back from L.A. Um, yeah. Yeah, we, were, uh, yes. we left L.A. at 5 this morning. We're struggling to stay awake. <laughs> yeah. Don't go to sleep going home. Oh, no. oh, I, um, oh yeah, praise the Lord for Natalie because she saw me going like this on the road. You know, <laughs> like I'm not tired. Why don't you change places? This and as soon as I got into the passenger seat, I didn't realize this. I didn't realize this, but I was out. And, and out. Natalie was telling me. Naomi was trying to tell me something, but it was literally the moment my head hit the back of that <laughs> passenger that seat. Yeah, so I needed that. Poor fellow. Uh, um, any more praise reports? Yeah. Oh, that was good. Um, I'm glad that we got to go to Grammy and Grandpa. We also went and Daddy's cousin, and it was their birthday. We went to this restaurant, and then we got some tickets, and then we got to buy something at the tiny store. Woo! Good time. You know, something that never happened to me as a kid was getting the 500 ticket jackpot, and Naomi got it on the first try. Oh, <laughs> it was kind of the, the, the highlight of that. that. Event, you know, oh, yeah. Good time. Anyway, the thing had been in there since the 90s. Wow. Well, I mean, they, they were all years ago. ago. Yes, I know. Because you're no kid. That's when I was born, 30 years ago. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, well, welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome. welcome. Everybody's so happy. That's awesome. <laughs> Praise God. Aren't you glad that? Well, I'm glad. Yes. We're glad that the word is working mightily in us. Yeah. <laughs> 
the word is working mightily in me. No matter what the circumstances, what I'm No matter what the circumstances are, we will see oh, the word is working mightily. We'll take it up a notch. Well, the word is working mightily in me. The word is working mightily in me. No matter what the circumstances are, we will see. Yes, the word. Mightly in you, yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because when that happens, what is uh, saying says in the Word that He will hasten His Word and perform it. Amen. Amen. God's got a miracle for you. It's on its way. Don't lose hope. Don't don't lose your faith. Don't don't waver. What's it say? A double-minded man is unstable. In all his ways, he won't receive. But if you don't waver, you stay fixed, focus, knowing that the word is working mightily in you. You got the devil whipped, and your miracle is on its way. Amen? Amen. Healing, health, wholeness, strength, and power. Amen. 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 You may not happen just like that, but as you walk with Jesus, hit the Holy Spirit moves. And brings it to pass. Amen. And I'm believing it for each and every one of you. Whatever you're believing God for. Keep the faith. Amen. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't waver. You may bend. But you're not going to break. Hallelujah. 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 Can everyone say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Oh, good, good. Praise God. Well, today uh, we're going to... The title is it could either be activate your faith or god has a miracle for you or the title could be action reflection humbling and prayer but whatever it is i pray it's a message that will pick you up and make you feel good encourage you but also challenge you to be everything that god has called you to be because god has called you to be a warrior god has called you to be a uh, uh, a powerhouse for him. Uh, being a powerhouse doesn't mean maybe you're loud and boisterous and nothing. It just means that anything and everything you do is under the unction and the power of Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. And the Holy Spirit, I want to reiterate that the Holy Spirit is in you. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of Man, He's in you, he empowers you, he blesses you, and when you stay connected to him through your prayer, through meditating on the word, through just doing your best and committing the rest, he will, he, sometimes you don't feel like you, you're doing good enough and you feel like you, you're less than where you, you are. You want to know why you're less than? Because God is the one who makes up the difference. Mm -hmm. So what you do in life is you do your best you commit your commit the rest, and you do what you can do. God will do what you can't do. Amen. 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 You can't like, oh, I gotta change. I gotta change. I gotta be more like Jesus. Oh, help me, Jesus. You, you could sit there all day trying to change in your own strength, but when you stay connected and connect to Him, and rely on Him and trust Him, well, if you're trusting in Him and you know He's your source and your your power and your anointing. It kind of humbles you. And when it humbles you, what does the Bible say? When you humble yourself before the Lord, He will lift you up. Amen? Yes. Not Amen. under your own power, but under His power. Amen? Mm -hmm. You'd be like a rocket mm -hmm. that takes off. <laughs> Don't you ever feel like you're a rocket? You're wondering why. How come I'm not going anywhere? And then there's a little bit of flutter, maybe a little bit of flame. But when you, you're connected into the fuel, to the power source, and the, the power source is Jesus, and when... And the and the the connection is humility and 
and and having your heart in the right place pretty soon your rocket fires and you just take off and and <laughs> god elevates you or puts you wherever you want, where you, you've been believing for and, or he takes his place takes you places that you never thought you would ever go but it's not under your own strength it's under his strength and power maybe right now maybe it looks a little hazy and you're wondering what's going to happen in certain areas of your life i want to encourage you today to be of good cheer jesus has overcome the world he's overcome uh, uh the death he's overcome the death he's overcome death he's risen from the grave he did it all for you and he's put his anointing upon you and in you and he will take you from where you are and he'll take you to where he wants you to be not under your it's not by might not by power but it's by his spirit and i believe today <coughs> in these days and times he's moving in a mighty way and he's not moving it's not about he's moving out there he's moving in you amen, amen. and i believe you don't have to pray for revival I believe you're already revived and you have the Holy Spirit and it's the same anointing that raised Jesus from the dead and it, it's and it's just there to tap into and and see the hand of the Lord move in a mighty way. Amen. 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 What we have reflected on what we talked about last couple of weeks are different areas that we we work on in life. And the Bible says don't be a hearer of the word but you have to be a doer. For a person that is a hearer is like a person that just looks in his mirror, in the mirror. Oh, that's good. And he moves on and forgets what manner of man he was, or he forgets where he came from. But the person who looks in the uh, the mirror of the mirror, it's like a, a mirror of the law of liberty. He looks into the mirror and he or he looks into the face of Jesus and allows the Holy Spirit to look into him and open up the things maybe that aren't comfortable and you deal with it what i've talked about is putting action with your faith and sometimes action calls for reflection and we have to reflect on our attitude and where how we, we respond to things because james chapter 1 verse 19 says be slow to talk be quick to listen and slow to anger and a lot of some of us don't maybe don't have a problem with anger or irritation or bitterness or resentment but I know I do sometimes. <laughs> I'm not going to act all holier than thou. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. And I, I have to, every day I have to, we all struggle with certain things. But the thing about through the struggle, we can win because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen? Amen. We can do it in, in his strength and allowing his Holy Spirit but that takes humility. Sometimes we don't want to deal with things. We don't want to look into the law of liberty. We want to hold on to that resentment. Or we want to hold on to what somebody did to us 20 years ago. Or maybe five years ago. Or maybe when we were a kid. Or whatever pushes our buttons. We, yeah, whatever pushes our buttons. There are things that push us every, everybody's buttons here. But I don't want to push any of our buttons. I want to keep you all happy. I do, but I got to tell you how it is. We, we, we want to grow in God, and God wants you to grow in Him. He wants you to grow. And He puts it on a simple level, and it's all about choice. And He says, are you going to be slow to talk? Or are you going to keep letting your mouth this yap, 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 when you shouldn't be? Or are you going to be angry and snap at your friend or your family or, or the people around you? Are you gonna? Are, are you gonna? Or are you gonna get it under control by humbling yourself before me, and we deal with this uh, situation, deal with those inner things, and get better and not get bitter? How many want to get better and not bitter? Amen. Good. It's a it's a continual. It's a and it's always a struggle because there's always things. That, oh, I'm not gonna get offended. I never get offended anymore. But then a few, maybe a day goes by, a week. <laughs> you've been through the mill and you've gotten over certain things. But there's always something that pushes our button. And something flares up again and you get angry and irritated. Maybe you have a few choice words that you don't say but nobody hears. But God hears them 
right? So we have to have action with our faith, be a doer of the word, not a hearer only. And we have to reflect, and because the greatest enemy we face, the greatest enemy in life that we face is not the devil. It's ourself. Some way, sometimes we can be our wor own worst enemy. But praise God, God has provided all the tools we need to live successfully and overcome anything that's going on on the inside. Do you believe that with me today? Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one of the main things we learned this morning is curbing our tongue because out of the tongue, out of our uh, out of our the abundance, abundance <coughs> of our heart, our mouth speaks. So the Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. I'm not I'm not saying uh, I, I'm all for confession. Why? Because you're speaking. You're either speaking death or you're speaking life. Are you going to keep think, keep speaking negativity, be negative, go in there, create a negative atmosphere, and everybody comes in and goes, oh, you again? <laughs> Is that what you want? You want people to look at you that way? No. No, but it does happen. You know, We want to be positive, uplifting, and we realize that we're not perfect, but we want to strive to attain that, and God puts it on a level that we can all attain. Why? Right? Because Jesus Christ, He said, "Can I work my way to heaven?" No, you can't. Can I? Uh, if I do all these good things, will I make it? No. I'm putting on a level. I'm making it simple. I'm sending my son. He's going to die for you. He's going to shed his blood, and through him, there's forgiveness of sins. All your sins are washed away, and by and not only that, by his, the stripes that are laid upon my son, you're healed, and it's all because of him, nothing else. Simple, right? Right. Religion complicates it. How do we grow in the things of the Lord? It starts with the heart, but it, whatever's in our heart's going to come out of our mouth. But sin, so one way or another, we got to fight the fight, and sometimes we're not quite there with our heart we're still irritated you don't you didn't get where you were overnight right no. so sometimes it takes a little while to get out of that pit mm -hmm. the pit of despair or the pit of depression discouragement resentment the things you hold on to right mm -hmm. so sometimes you got to step out in faith be a doer of the word not a hearer only and you've got to start speaking you, what do, what am i going to start saying <coughs> i'm going to start saying what god says Amen. Right? Right? Right. And when you start that, you start stirring something. I mean, it's easy. The Bible says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but only that which builds up and edifies other people. I said this morning, some people, they have the, think they have the spirit of dis, discernment, the discernment of spirits, or, uh, but I, I, I think eight times out of ten, it's a spirit of judgment and criticism. Mm -hmm. Right, we're and we're not those people. We're the we're the people that if uplifts and edifies other people. Do we fall short? Yes, we do. <laughs> James chapter three. James chapter three says, "In if we can, basically, if we can curb what we say and watch the things that come out of our mouth, we can uh, cut down on, on a, a lot of the troubles that we face." What am I talking about? I'm talking about strife, drama, uneasiness. We can, if we can learn to curb what we say, John James one nineteen, be slow to talk, quick to listen, slow to anger. Every say, slow to talk, slow to talk, quick to listen, quick to listen, slow to anger. Slow to anger. This week, when you face some issues and circumstances in your life, I'm going to be slow to talk, quick to listen, slow to anger. I'm going to be slow to talk, quick to listen, slow to anger. I'm going to think before I speak. Why? Because that will help you become more wise in the things of the Lord. Amen? Amen. You'll become more grounded, and you'll be, you'll re, you're, you're, you put action with your faith, and you're reflecting on things, on yourself, but you're also thinking about what you should say and what you shouldn't say. You should say and what you shouldn't say. Because life and death are in the power of the tongue. And if we can win that battle, we can't win the battle on our own, but through Jesus Christ, we can do all things. Amen? Amen. And we start 
let's say I used that example this morning. If you didn't know the Lord and you walked into a building and you were just and there's people there and you were just very kind and gracious and caring and you were just a light that just came in and everybody would just feel and you just pr promoted an atmosphere of ease and peace and people just felt totally relaxed with you because you just had such a gentleness about you and you just you were just so kind and nice, right? That would promote a nice atmosphere. Well, let's say the same person is just bitter and angry and they walk in and they just start chewing everybody out and then everybody would feel tense and it would just you just have a feeling of uneasiness amen, amen. well that's the same way with, with uh, we want to see the hand of the Lord move in a mighty way well it all starts with first of all what we believe and speak well I don't quite believe it yet but you can't step out in faith and start speaking it right you can you can start speaking <laughs> positive uplifting words and what's the most positive uplifting words that are available today the b-i-b-l-e mm -hmm. amen, amen. Uh, james chapter three yes for me too james three for uh, for in many things we offend all we could stop right there <laughs> everybody's gonna let us down it natalie said it a couple weeks ago everybody will let you down we offend and uh, we're not perfect but we can cut down on the things that happen because if we do what we can do god will do what we can't do for many things we offend all if any man offend not in word the same as a perfect man able to bridle his whole, whole tongue behold we put bits and horses and mouths that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body <laughs> behold the ships which are, though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listed. Ships are so can be huge, but they're they're guided what by a, a rudder that just it's it's just a small. If that thing's broken, it just it's all over the place, right? The mm -hmm. ship is just out of control, and who knows where it's gonna wind up. I want to tell you. Your rudder's out of control or broken. There's no, there's no, you, there's no telling where you're gonna wind up. That's all right. right? That's fine. <laughs> so you better get it fixed, mm -hmm. right there on online. Get it fixed. If you don't have a problem with, you will in the future. Amen. Because you're not perfect, and we all have areas that we need to get better. Um. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold, how great a matter of little fire kindles. The tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, and it defiles the whole body. And sets on fire the course of nature. It's on fire, and it is set on fire of hell. Every kind of beast and birds and serpents and of things in the, of the sea is tamed. and has been tamed of mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. It's an unruly evil full of deadly poison therewith we bless god even the father and therewith curse we men which are made after the similitude of god out of the same mouth proceeds blessings <coughs> and cursings my brethren this things not this these things ought not to be does a fountain send forth the same place sweet water and bitter can a fig tree my brethren bear olive berries either a vine figs so can no fountain both yield salt water or are fresh who is a wise man endued with knowledge among you who is a wise person here uh, we all have the potential to be wise and to be even wiser who is a wise and endued with knowledge among you let him show it out of a good conversation good conversation his works with meekness and wisdom but if you have bitter envying and strife in your hearts glory not and lie not against the truth well, when you have strife in your hearts, that's what we were talking about. Reflection. Reflecting on the things that are tearing at you on the inside. Face those things. Face your fears. Face those feelings and allow the whole, allow the Lord to set you free. Amen? Amen. Because it, it, it not only defiles, defiles you, it defiles the people around you. Are we all, has anyone attained total perfection here? No. So we're constantly in a work and we're leaving those things behind, not only for, 
forgetting the successes we have, we forget that we got to put behind us the failures, the resentment, the rejection, the heartache, the pain. We got to leave it behind and, and face it and allow the Lord to heal us and not run from it anymore. Amen? And not be bitter about it. And when we're bitter, we're not getting better and we're talking because our heart's bitter. And then we say things that we shouldn't say and we do things that we shouldn't do. But where does it all start? It starts in our heart and, and it starts what's going on there. We got to get we got to get that victory. But thank God we have the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ and we can be free. And we and then when we're, our heart gets freed up, we can start speaking those words of life and encouragement. And even, like I said, just said, if we didn't have, have it, we're struggling with things on the inside. We've had it for years and it's a battle. You can start with what you say. You can say, I'm the Lord. You're the Lord God that heals me, helps me. You're the God, that same anointing that raised Christ from the dead, dwells in me and quickens my mortal body. So right now, Lord, I not it's not so much my body, it's my heart. Can you do a work in my heart? Cleanse my heart. I re 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 I recommit my life to you. Holy Spirit, please help me. And starts and start. You may not get totally perfect at worst. Totally perfect at first, but you don't quit. You don't give up. You keep moving forward and speaking life and and to, over yourself and to the people around you and see the atmosphere of your. You see the atmosphere of your life change. Does change happen all at once? No, it has to be walked out. But as you're walking out and you're creating a new atmosphere around you by the things you, your attitude and things you're believing and things you're speaking and things you're doing. You're creating a new atmosphere around you that will lead you on to a, a happy, a healthier, a stronger, and more stable fu future. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And isn't God so cool? He makes it so simple. Yes. <laughs> you got to walk a thousand miles. <laughs> then maybe you'll attain perfection. No. no. He said, hey, just change what you're saying. Just change what you're believing. I don't know what to believe. Well, that's why you're in church. That's why you're listening. Because you hear the word. But not only hear a message by me or somebody else. Get into the word yourself. Yourself. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You don't have to have regurgitated food. I, I, you'll remember that, right? I've been thinking about that. I know that sounds kind of nasty. I'm sorry, but it's true. It's, it's true. It's true. They, they hear the re, they hear the re, and then they try to be like the person they hear, and then you, you have all these little clones. The only clone we want to be is a clone of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, James. Uh, yeah. Allison, wise man, if you have bitter envy and strife in your heart's glory, not lying out against the truth. This wisdom, we want to be wise, but we don't want this kind of wisdom. This wisdom descends from the above, but is earthly, sensual, sensual, devilish. The Lord told me you need to get this right. The Lord told me, no, you need to mind your own business and allow the Holy Spirit. There you go. Right? You don't, you don't need, you, we got to know when to. We gotta know when to hold. hold up. Don't worry. <laughs> no, we gotta know when to. We gotta know when to speak and want not when speak. To shut up. Slow to talk. Slow to talk. Quick to listen. Slow to anchor. Amen. There Amen. are times when you have you correct somebody, but you correct them in love. Unless they're real troublemakers, then you gotta maybe use a heavy hand. But that's yeah. it. hopefully we never get to that. Usually, most people are pretty reasonable. Amen? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think in these days and times, we need to get to a place where we're not trying so much to do the work, but we allow the Holy Spirit to do the work mm -hmm. in okay. our lives, which I'm setting it up right here, so you, it, it prevents a little tail like, oh, what do I do? Yeah, I'll do that. I can work on what I say. I can work on what I believe. I can change. I can speak words of life when every time if I feel like just being crabby, or if I feel like being snappy, I can take a deep breath and just share some kind. Of, even if you don't feel it, you can still do it, right? Yeah, right? You don't feel like getting up in the morning sometimes. You still do it. You don't feel like uh, maybe, yeah, going to work or doing certain things, but you do it. You just you just get out there and do it. Sometimes you got to, uh, 
What's that saying? You gotta fake it till you make it. <laughs> right? Um, this wisdom descends not from above as earthly sensual devils. For where envying, for envying and strife is, there is confusion and evil work. We want to get rid of strife in every area of our life. How do you get that away? You speak words of life. And the proverb says where there's no tail bearer, strife ceases. <laughs> What's a tale bear? Somebody tells tales, talk, talks about certain things, right? So if people in your life, you learn to curb some of the things you say, you probably cut the drama. We don't want the trauma, we, and we don't want the drama. Yeah. Yeah. And we can cut it down. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. And then we can allow the Holy Spirit to move, because His yoke is easy, and His burden is light. <coughs> One more scripture. I'll bring, bring it on in. We have a board meeting today. All right. Woo. <laughs> no, Matthew. Uh, Matthew said, "See, we're we're preparing the foundation, uh, action, reflection, and then uh, our prayers. We wonder why they don't get answered because we're we got there's certain sometimes there's certain things we got to do before, you know. We gotta. It's not a one way relationship, right? Right. We got to do certain things." And God is not being mean. He's not beating you over the head today. He's just saying, hey, let's work on this. Let's work. And he, he asks you to do the things that you're very capable of doing. Simple things. Accepting Jesus. Watching what you say. And and uh, instead of hearing, doing. Uh, you can eat that apple from that tree. Or you can eat that apple from that tree. I mean, it makes it so simple, right? That anybody can do it. And we can be everything that God's called us to be. Matthew 17, 10, I'm sorry, 10, 17. 10, 17. 10, 17. What? Oh, I, that was Romans. Oh, okay. Haha, okay. -ha, you made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> I'm going there. Uh, 1720, I'm sorry. Uh, Jesus said unto them, it was talking about, uh, well, I'll start at uh, Matthew 17, uh, verse 14. Matthew 17, 14. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he's a lunatic and sore vexed. And oft times he falls into the fire and mm -hmm. oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples and they couldn't cure him. Impossible situation. Didn't it look like? Mm -hmm. Right? Looks like it. Then Jesus answered, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from uh, that very hour. And then the disciples came to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If you have the faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed hence to yonder place, and it shall, re shall re remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goes forth not by prayer and fasting. What's that have to do with today's sermon? You might say, well, I've, just, I've been struggling with certain things <coughs> so many years. The Bible just said, if you have the faith as a grain, a mustard seed. Well, I don't feel like I have faith. Well, Romans 12 says every man has been given a measure of faith. So you do have the faith. You have what it takes to tap into the things of God and receive everything he's called you to have. Well, I don't have enough faith. The Bible just said all you need is a mustard seed. Well, I want more faith. Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. <laughs> Meditate on the word day and night. We're wrapping it up. We're coming in for a landing. Meditate on this word day and night and you'll be like a tree. By the, fruit. By the water. And you'll bear fruit in your season. Amen? Amen. It's about action, reflection, winning the battle that's going on because the, the spirit fights against the flesh, 
But praise be to God, through Jesus Christ, we have the victory. Amen? Amen. It just depends on which... You either feed the white dog or the black dog. Or you feed the... Uh, that's, all, that's, a, that's the example I, when I was first went to church. There's two... Or they could be uh, two, two Rottweilers. The nice one and the mean one. Who are you going to feed? Right? Right? The one, if you feed the mean one, he's just going to get stronger and, and oh, beat up the nice Rottweiler. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you, it's, it just depends who you're going to feed. Who are you going to feed today? Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. You got the faith. If you want more faith, you just meditate on the word, receive more faith. But you don't receive more faith and just hear about it. Oh, I heard about that. I heard that message. It was so great. No, it's time, this time in your life to put it into action and see the hand of the Lord do a work out there. No, in here. Amen? Amen. See, we want things to change out there. But the Lord says, no, it starts in here. And I want to tell you today, you got it because you got Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you, Father, for each person here today. I thank you for ministering and moving in a mighty way. I thank you for touching, touching and ministering. It's not by power, it's by your spirit. And I thank you for your spirit moving. And if people need healing, I ask you to touch them right now, whether it's in their heart, their mind, their body. I thank you, Lord. You are our healer, our help in the time of need. And we call out to you, and I thank you for victory. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. Amen.